let's talk about uh, the significance of all these ones. It's these these vertices, these vectors. I don't keep swapping those terms in and out, but let's go back to 2D here, and uh, let's bring this up, bring this over. The reason why these all move together is because they are sitting in the z equals 1 plane. All right, going back to 3D, if I can kind of move the camera to the side here, uh, that's probably the best I'm going to do. We have the the renegade chilling here saying, I'm not going to go out to that plane with the rest of you. But then the rest of these guys are all sitting at the same Z value. All, right? all their Zs are 1. So they all move the same amount uh, when I grab that basis vector and start moving that Z basis vector around. Okay, I hope... Hope that makes sense. Why? Why that's important? Well, the renegade, the slow or the lazy guy is like, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna move with that z basis vector. So he's stuck there. Well, let's instead of making him the apostate, if you would, and having him not go with a group. Let's say he's gonna he's gonna do instead of saying one like the rest of them, he's gonna go out and say, I'm gonna go the extra mile, and I'm gonna go. Let's let's put him at eight. So whatever you give me. Z basis vector, I'm going to do eight of those, right? Let me bring this down to zero, and then hopefully you can see, well, pause the video, think, what's going to happen now? What's the result going to be now when I grab this X component of the Z basis vector and slide it back and forth? Pause the video, think about it, come back. Okay, watch. I'm going to grab, slide, grab, slide. He's moving now, look at him move. But he's moving a lot more a lot more than the other ones. He's going the extra mile. The other guys are saying, hey, whatever you give me Z basis vector, I'll do one of those, that's fine. But then this this tippy top vertex is like, hey, I'll, I'll do eight times that. Okay, this is not going to be ideal. Let's go back to our 2D view. You see how he really moves? Okay, this top vector, he moves way more than the others. That's not ideal either. So what we want is all of these vectors to be lying in the same plane. And it doesn't matter which plane, but one is a nice, easy number to work with. It's not zero, so we bring them all out to one. And and there you go. We, we now move as a group. So how does this relate to our unit test, going back to what we had here? Well, again, let's run this, and maybe you're better prepared. And again, pause the video if you need to. But, but uh, value of one. Victim prime x is a zero though, which is our orig our original x value value. <laughs> our, our original x value is a zero. We said translate it by one, we would expect a one here. But we turned our z here. Now, let me just explicitly type it in here instead of relying on the default argument value. Our z is zero here, so just same thing what we had here. If if we set it to zero that vector is saying, no, I'm not budging, and I'm not going to conform. So in order to, okay, key point, key point, and this is one reason why we use these types of coordinates, which are similar to what we call homogeneous coordinates, going the extra dimension to do something in the dimension minus one. In this case, we're going three-dimensional, even though we're drawing everything in two dimensions. Uh, the, the whole point of having that, that z value there as a 1 instead of a 0 is to allow us to do the translation, right? Or our ship position plus the rotation or whatever else we want to apply. But that's that's the whole reason why we, we turn that to a 1. If we turn it to a 0, we're essentially turning off translation. That's something you'll hear about quite often. And when we get to computer graphics, we'll see this a lot, especially when rotating points versus rotating normals and and here's another key concept a lot of that you'll you'll see or you'll hear people often speak of points versus vectors and what's the differences and they're so subtle and yada 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 well a point is something you can translate where a vector you cannot all right points versus vectors points you can translate them you can move them vectors you can't move them but what the computer graphics people will not tell you is that it's still just vectors. Points 
our vectors. We're looking at the tips of the vectors, the top of the arrow, so to say. So if I click in view in 3D here again, I mean, if you remember, I, I made this setup where I can say, well, show the vectors, don't show the vectors, show the vectors, don't show the vectors. I can say, show the lines. Well, now we're not seeing anything. Let's show the vectors. Okay, here's the vectors. And you can't see it, but that renegade vector, let's just bring him out. It's that red there, that renegade vector that doesn't want to play nicely is being mixed in with the white Cartesian coordinates. So that's why we can't see it. But again, let's go side here. These are just vectors. And if I want if I want to translate the vectors, I'll grab the Z and yes, the top, the tippy tips of those vectors are translated. You could think of it as a translation. We're moving them all together. That's what a translation means. We're moving the tips of the vectors. Notice they're still all planted right here at the origin, though. But we're moving the tips of the vectors. We're translating the tips of the vectors all together at the same rate here in the x direction or the y direction if I want to do that. And if I want to turn that feature off, which I have done with this vector, I just simply put the z to a 0. All right, let's let's grab this guy here and set his z to a zero, something that won't mesh perfectly. Oh, sorry, that's negative. Something that won't mesh perfectly with our Cartesian axis. And I'm going to say let's go let's go to the front view here, and notice he's out there actually at the side. Oh, give me a sec while I fly around. Sorry, at the side here. Look, he is as best as I can align. He is stuck in that z is zero plane. We we've, we've essentially flipped off his ability to, aka translate, because he is taking no contribution from this z basis vector. The other guys, oh sorry, I was thinking of this guy. Is this guy? The other guys are moving just fine, but we just simply turned off translation because we said, ah, we're not going to take anything from it. Okay. So when people say points versus vectors and that they're different or they're slightly different, okay, if you want to believe them and that works for your mental thought processes, fine, go with it. But the way I like to think about it, because it all just seems to make sense and fit correctly, is, hey, this is all vectors. They're basis vectors. They're linear combinations. It's meaning linear combination take zero of this vector and three of this vector and zero of this vector and let's move it all around, move it together. And if we're taking zero from the z directional vector, then of course, of course this vector here is not going to move because it's not taking anything from that z basis vector. Anyway, points versus vectors. If you ask Jamie King, they're all vectors. And if you want to draw the vectors, that's fine. But generally, we just draw the tips of the vectors like this, and we connect them, connect the dots, la 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 la, and that gives us a nice shape. But underneath, yes, it's still vectors, even though you don't see them. Okay, I'm probably beating a dead horse here, but there you go.